right guys, we are here for a monthly favorites, the month of March, my March favorites. We're gonna talk about everything that I have not been able you know, to put down. And guys, this is really good stuff. Let's just go ahead and dive into it. So I'm gonna start with skincare first. I just have two skincare items. One is a watermelon illuminator daytime facial oil. It's not really an oil, it is more of a lotion. This is by the brand Pon Who. I found it at Walmart. It is just a watermelon facial oil. I, it, it really is more of a um, lotion. It's like a light pink lotion. It's really, really good. I have dry skin. It's a really light but really moisturizing facial lotion. Really, really nice. And then I have the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This is at Sephora. Um, I got it in a BoxyCharm. And I was like, all right, I'll just try it. I've never done this before. My makeup came off like that. Like it came off so fast. I wear waterproof mascara, so it's always kind of a pain in the butt to get that off. But this just took it off. I, it, and it's like the most gentle cleanser. I really, really love it. This is a little bit more on the pricey side. And I've never really used a cleansing balm before. So I am going to dive into like some drugstore brands and see if I can find a cheaper one. I know Pons does one. I think Physicians Formula just came out with one, if I'm correct. But but um, yeah, I don't know if those are any good. I just know that this one is amazing and my makeup comes off fast. And it's not um, harsh at all. It's a very gentle, gentle balm. It's got a scent, but I find it to be just a clean scent. So I don't mind it but I really love, love this stuff. I'm gonna talk about foundations. I have two foundations that I have been wearing quite a bit. Is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Now this foundation is really expensive. I think it's $65. And I think I had like a whole bunch of, I had some stuff for, to return and I couldn't, I was walking around, I was in a hurry. I couldn't like find anything that I was like, oh, I want this so bad. And then I saw this and I was like, you know what? Everyone raves about this foundation. I'm just gonna get it. I'm just gonna, it's really expensive, like really expensive, but I'm just gonna try it out. So I got it, and it's so good. Now I know why people rave about it, it's so good. This is a really good foundation. Even if you don't wanna buy it, at least go get a sample of it so you can try it, because it's a really good foundation. By the way, I'm in the color 4.25. Uh, the other one that I've been loving, total opposite end of the spectrum, is this mega cushion foundation from Wet n Wild. Um, it has SPF 15 and in nude beige. It's got a light coverage to it. Um, it's not, it's very buildable. It's very um, hydrating. And I kind of love these cushion foundations. They're just so easy to just like bop your little beauty blender in there. Cause usually I put my foundation right here. I love these, lo the setup of this. It's just easy for me. But this is a really, really, really great foundation. All right, the next one is this Morphe setting spray. I. I'm not the hugest fan of Morphe. I try their stuff and I'm just kind of like, I'm not blown away. I think it's just kind of average. This spray is amazing. More people need to come up with an aerosol makeup setting spray. The, like it's the finest mist. It doesn't taste good. I just inhaled it. Okay. It smells like perfume, which I don't love. I wish it had like a clean or like a, um, I don't know, tropical scent or something, but I don't love that it smells like perfume but it doesn't like you don't continue to smell it. But the thing that just blows me away that makes me like hands down choose this over others is the mist. Don't you hate it when you're getting a setting spray and you're spraying it and you get like that big glob that's coming out, like the big, the spurt that like just spits at your face and you're like crap and you gotta like dab it away. This never has it because it's such a fine aerosol can. I, I love this stuff. This stuff is really good. I'm gonna talk about eyeshadows. So the ones that I've been using nonstop are the Hourglass, Scattered light glitter eyeshadows. These are so good. I have never found anything as good as these. These are like top, top, top best. I just have two. I have the color Blaze, which is a copper color, and then I have the color Reflect, which is like a champagne color. These are so nice. You can like barely touch your finger in it and like just do a little bit of a shimmer, or you can really intensify it. They are so pretty. They last all day, and they just are just so good and they don't really crease in my eye even though they're not a cream shadow I think they're a pressed pigment they're just so good these hourglass go give them a try all right the next one is an eyeshadow palette I went and got this eyeshadow palette from Sally it's by collab beauty and I think it's where they actually have influencers 
as a team doing it like the, I don't know something like that anyways this one is in the one get ready with me these eyeshadows are so good like these are really high-end quality eyeshadows they're so good um, the mattes the creams everything is just really good really pigmented really blendable really easy to use I highly recommend getting this especially if it's if it's like a you're just getting into makeup because it's I think this is only $14 and I'm not the hugest fan of palettes at the drugstore. I haven't found one. I guess Wet n Wild has some pretty good ones, but I haven't found one that I'm like, this is high end. Like, I don't even know what this is doing at the drugstore. This one is how I feel. This one is high end. I don't know how it's $14 at Sally's. It is that, it is that good. Moving on, the next thing I wanna talk about is highlighter. I don't know if you can see my highlighter today. When I talk about highlighter, let me quickly give you a little, I do not like, the chunky glitter. I do not like where I turn my face and you can just see a stripe. I like a subtle glow from within. I don't love the heavy highlight look. It's just not the look I like. Um, I feel like on camera or in pictures when you're like this, it looks great. But I feel like in person, you see the person and you're like, whoa, it's like a line of highlight. Just not my favorite. I don't think it's a good look. So I'm always looking for the glow within where you can just kind of see, you know, that I look healthy. Oh, this is so good. Um, this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Liquid Highlighter. And this is in, I believe it's called Soft Light or 30. You know how Makeup Forever kind of names their things with numbers? It is number 30. It is the most beautiful cream highlight. There's like, not even like shimmer. It's not shimmer. It's almost like pearl. It's like you put it on and you just got a like a sheen, like you're, like you're glowing from within. It is so, so good. Um, how I apply it is I just kind of squirt a little bit on the back of my hand and I kind of blend it out a little bit like that so it's a wider area. I dip my beauty blender in it and I just kind of, you know, cause I don't want to like have the line and I want it to disperse nicely because it is a cream and I'm usually putting it on top of um, powders. So I just kind of do it lightly all over with a beauty blender. That's how I apply it. It is so good give this a try. If you try anything from today, try this highlighter. It is so good. Okay, next we have, oh, blush. Uh, the only blush I've been wearing, the only blush that I'm into, I keep trying to use other blushes and I just keep going back to this one, is the Clinique Cheek Pop in 05 Nude Pop. I go, you know, you go through phases of makeup where you're like feeling blush. Lately, I just haven't been feeling blush, but I do want to add a little bit more color than bronzer. This is the perfect nude blush, and it's the most beautiful little petal. It's just beautiful, and I really, really like it with, if you have BoxyCharm and you got this Moda brush that's like really, really kind of just really soft and fluffy, I really like it because it really just blends out it's like the perfect amount. It just feathers the color. Remember to that now. It just feathers the color out. The it's this is amazing. This is a really good blush. Okay, um, next is this little tiny guy. So when I bought the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk eyeshadow palette, it gave me like a little teeny tiny little sample, like like the little teeniest like little sample of their airbrush flawless finish um, powder. Wow, this is good. Like I'm gonna buy the full version as soon as I run out of this because I set my under eyes. I'll set, I'll actually set a lot with it. I don't set my face a lot because um, I have dry skin, but what I do, I'll just kind of use it right here and right here and a little bit on my chin and maybe like right here where I kind of get a little bit oily, right? It is so good. It makes you look so flawless. Like this is really, really good stuff. And it's the cute, I mean, look how tiny. Literally, it's the tiniest little powder. The funny thing is, is it even has like a mirror inside. It has a tiny little mirror, it's just the cutest. I will be purchasing a full size, but I'm gonna use this up first. Okay, next mascara, I have been using the Lancome Monsieur Big in waterproof. I wear waterproof mascara, and this is really, really good. This really gives you um, thicker eyelashes, and it really fans them out, which is nice. And it gives you more of that fluttery look than like the strong, bold look. But I really have been enjoying this. This is probably the only high-end mascara that I have repurchased. I've never really repurchased because I believe drugstore mascaras are better or just as good than high-end. But this is the only one that I've actually repurchased. And I do like it. It's a good, it's a good, good mascara. 
All right, next is lipsticks. Let's do lipsticks. Okay, so I only have one brand. <clears throat> These Alme lipsticks are so good. They just released them. They're the cutest packaging, and they're so good. They have, like, a couple different lines. I think they have, like, their matte line, their cream line. I think they have a couple toppers. I only have four of the colors, but so far, these are amazing. I'll do swatches of what I have. I love, love, love the cream ones. The mattes are not too matte. They're just really, really good. And I think, and I think Elme is a brand that's overlooked, and it shouldn't be. That's how good these are. That is it for my makeup favorites. Oh, actually, I do have one more. Here it is. It's a little tiny Morphe brush. This is the other things that I love for Morphe, Morphe other brushes. This is the brush M507. If you're not the greatest at makeup, or if you have small eyes, this is the tiniest tapered little blending brush, but you could really just draw that line of where you want things to be and then blend it out with a fluffier brush. This will really be good for you, especially if you're a beginner or if sometimes you just have a hard eye shape, just to be able to like kind of put that color where you want it and then you can go and blend it out. Um, I really like this, so it's a really good brush. So that is it for my monthly favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys can check out some of these favorites. Let me know what your monthly favorites are down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.